A lot of you might have heard of the YouTuber and celebrity astrologist and psychic, Sloane Bella, who has recently made dubious and bold claims surrounding Kate Middleton's loss of life, which we already knew and predicted six months ago, because we understand numerology and that Kate Middleton is born 1982 Year of the Dog, and her enemy sign is this year, the Year of the Dragon. Sloane Bella has made claims that she is psychic, and also made predictions with regards to P. Diddy last year, who strangely enough is born under the Year of the Rooster, and his enemy year was the sign of the cat, which was last year. This goes for the same as Matthew Perry, who was also born under the Year of the Rooster, and died last year, in his enemy year of the cat. You could also apply this to Jeffrey Epstein, who also died in his enemy year in his police cell, or even Kobe Bryant, who lost his life on a plane accident in his enemy year. I could go on and on, but for the meantime, we'll take a look at another character as well. The other person we will be looking at is fellow YouTuber Murad Morali, who some of you might be familiar with his work. He recently published a video sharing and showing Sloane Bella's work and her predictions with regards to Kate Middleton and P. Diddy. We will look at both these characters and just as a special one and to add a bit of spice to this video, I'm going to give these two a numerology reading and what you'll find out from the reading will blow your mind. Give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. Please do follow me on my Instagram at Murad underscore Murali, please. And let's get into this video and discuss what is going on. So Sloane Bella, Sloane Bella, Sloane Bella is her name. And this individual, a psychic from LA, has made predictions in early March 2024 in regards to everything going on with the royal family. She was very accurate in predicting trouble for Sean Diddy in 2023. And also she predicted that he would have more trouble in Easter and he did with the federal home raids. Now, what she's stating in regards to Kate Middleton, she says that Kate Middleton, she feels like is gone. She says King Charles will be gone and there will be royal chaos. She says that Prince William will be able and have to abdicate the throne and that a third party will take the throne temporarily. What happened? Kate, I don't feel is here. That's true. The king gone. William gone. Harry's going to be king. I don't even know. I think. The sign of this year is the year of the dragon, with it being the enemy sign of the dog. I express to you that Donald Trump is born in the year of the dog and in his enemy year, which is why he is now being served his karma on a gold platter. I expressed Michael Jackson was born in the year of the dog and he had his biggest hit of all time, which was Michael Jackson's thriller, selling over 80 million copies worldwide, was in 1982 and the year of the dog. Therefore, we can use this method to then predict the next lot of names. The generation from 1982 might be slightly too young to have attended some of the Epstein parties, but that doesn't mean none didn't attend at all. These are Nicki Minaj, Little Wayne, Kelly Clarkson, Billy Piper, and Prince William's wife, Kate Middleton. Kate Middleton looks like she's had a bit of a rough time lately, especially with the dramas that have been going on with the royal family. Just because some of these people on these lists and names did not attend Jeffrey Epstein's island or weren't part of it, does not mean that they can escape the energy in their opposite year or karma. Now you have a better understanding of how the energies work and the certain energies of your own and your opposite. As I stated in previous videos, this is impossible to avoid your enemy year and your only option is to lay low. Your enemy year is filled with losses of relationships, lives, homes, monies and a year of consistent L's. You'll feel like you're under pressure, your head's being held under water by a foot while you try to keep your head above water, let alone swim. If you needed further reassurance. If you're born 1970, 1982, 1994, 2006, next year is the year of the dragon. You're born in the year of the dog. 
85 percent of you guys are fucked. But uh, straight up, 85 percent of so you guys are do? fucked. I thought I said lay low, shit. lay low. That's the only thing you can do. Listen, if you know the world's against you, you can't really do too much except. But is it possible? To, is it possible to go against the energies? Yeah. But can it, can you win an enemy? Yet? Very rare. But very possible. very. I mean, yeah, it's it, it, it's possible for maybe five percent. We're talking about percentage games here, bro. While trying to research Sloane Bella, it was almost impossible to try and trace her background. We know that she was adopted, but we don't know who from, where from, or what country, background, or religion. One thing we can be sure though, is that her facial features give a clear indication of what religion and who she is. With her ties to the Hollywood elites and those that are Freemasons, I would not rule out the fact that she could be a possible member of the Eastern Star Witches. It would only be a sensible conclusion to come to the fact that Sloane Bella is actually using numerology and not a psychic at all. As a special treat for Sloane Bella, we're going to give her a numerology reading and what comes back will surprise you. If we start with Sloane Bella's date of birth, she is born on the 15th of August 1966. She is born on a 15 day, which is single down into a single digit with 1 and 5 equals 6. We take the August which is the 8th and add this together to the 6th. This creates the 14th. We then take the 19 and the 6-6 six six and add them together which gives us the 22. The 22 added to the 14 gives us 36. And the 3 and the 6 added together down into a single digit equals 9. 9 is the number of manifestation. It's also the number of people who have to learn lessons the hard way and don't take their own advice, but are good at giving it. They are also very good at handling money. This is where the manifestation comes into it. Sloane Bella is born in 1966, in the year of the horse. Her enemy sign is the year of the rat, and her last worst year was 2020. So for whatever happened for Sloane Bella in 2020, she experienced a lot of losses. Now to a lot of us we might not know what that means, but she will. So considering Sloan Bella is born on the 15th, and 1 and 5 equals 6, 6 is the number of home and family. So just to recap, what was it you were doing a few weeks ago Sloan Bella? Nothing to do with home and family by any chance. As per usual, I can't sit still, so I decided to move and I signed a new lease yesterday. So I've been here exactly a year and a half and now I'm moving for the th third time, fourth time. I'll just keep moving till I buy something. That's the way it's going to be. So anyway, it, it's good. So now I have to get my garbage bins out to put more stuff in the garbage. <laughs> um, I mean, since I, we still have the house, you know that. I'll tell you what's going to happen with Prince William. Here's what I'm going to say. Prince William is going to abdicate England. Prince William, okay, he's acting just like his father. If Sloan Bella wanted a bit more insight into how numerology works, here's a bit of an insight for you. Prince William, who was born on the 21st of June, 1982. Altogether, his birthday adds up to his life path of number 11. King Charles, who was also born on the 14th of November, 1948, adds up together of a life path of 11, which is why the traits of father and son have continued. Not only that, but the 11th letter of the alphabet is K, and King starts with K. Considering what has happened to King Charles's wife Diana, and now suspicions of Kate Middleton, there is also another word that begins with K, and it's to do with taking somebody's life. If you don't believe me, here's further evidence. The royal family, almost everyone in the royal family is like an 11 life path. So they're obviously having C-sections to make sure these guys are all 11. Oh shit. Oh uh, and, shit. And, and guess what? I do the same thing because my first kid's an 11 too. Which brings me on to fellow YouTuber Murad Morali, who's a self-confessed homosexual man. 
which I don't have a problem with, or people who are gay or homosexual. I've got friends myself who are gay, and it's your own business what you do in your home. Murad is a self-proclaimed, dedicated Muslim, but was exposed when he exposed himself by accident when videos resurfaced a few years ago with regards to his foot fetish. Now Murad has travelled quite a bit of the world, and he tends to visit Dubai quite a bit. But if you know about Dubai, and the debauchery, and disgusting sexual acts that rich Arab princes would pay a lot of money for, these include foot fetishes, or even worse, these are usually advertised through cesspit Instagram, where people are contacted by rich Arabs and then flown over on private jets, all paid for, hotels, food, drink and accommodation. Personally, I don't have anything against Murad Morali. I've watched a lot of his videos and I've enjoyed a lot of his content and work. But every time he asks me to follow his Instagram, it just looks like a catalogue for a foot fetish. But not to worry and don't despair because we're going to give Murad Morali a numerology reading. And what the outcome is might even surprise him. Murad Morali is born on the 5th of January 1996. This means that he's born under the energy of the rat and his last best year was 2020 when things all went swimmingly. His last worst year though was 2014 when things went wrong, but only he will know that knowledge and what it is. Murad is born on the 5th, and people born on 5 days, such as the 5th, the 14th, the 23rd, are people who are highly sexually active. They're the kind of people that if their desires and fantasies aren't fulfilled, they'll move straight on to the next person. Hence Valentine's Day on the 14th. Which is why the only vowel that is in the word sex is the letter E. And E is the fifth letter in the alphabet. If we take Murad Morali's life path and we add his date of birth up, the result will shock you even more, as this reverts and comes back to the number five. And for someone who is well travelled in the world and travelled many countries and destinations such as Murad, strangely enough, the number five is the number of travel. And for someone who proclaims to be a devoted Muslim, to stop throwing up satanic devil signs and the horns of Lucifer and maybe understand numerology and embrace his religion of being a Muslim. If the facts, evidence and similarities presented to you have not been enough to convince you of numerology, here's just a little bit more. Someone who was born on the 4th, and the 4th being the number of law and order, and born under the energy of 1970, the year of the dog, who's facing their enemy year this year, the year of the dragon, has just been convicted of three felonies. That person is Robert Hunter Biden, who was also mentioned in the video I've already shown in this one, which was dated on the 8th of January 2024. I hope you enjoyed the video and the content, and I hope that it gave you a clearer understanding and more knowledge about how numerology works and affects our everyday lives. Numerology is not something to be joked about. It's something that can be used to your advantage, help protect you, guide you, and be a positive aspect to your life. But for those who want to ignore it, they can only face the consequences, be unaware, and sit there scratching their heads. Until, until next time, take care of yourself. Until next time, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you in the next video.